Hey guys, Christo Garcia, my swing evolution. Uh, I've been telling you guys uh, lately that I've been uh, making some grip changes. I've actually strengthened my grip. And uh, the reason why is I've been really working on uh, swinging from the inside out and getting my right elbow under my left through impact. When I started my swing evolution, my entire goal was to just be able to hit a solid straight drive. It seemed impossible. But I can do it now. I can hit a 300 yard drive and hammer the thing. And uh, it's, it's really the funnest thing in the world. I mean, because I was so bad. I, the only time I ever seemed to hit a ball solid, it would take off at like a 45 degree angle to the fairway to my right. But here I am, I'm trying to work on getting that right elbow under. And I found that by strengthening my grip and getting my hands in a stronger position, it naturally helps me keep my right elbow under. And it, it actually gives me less total forearm rotation. You know, so that's a good thing for a lot of people, I believe. So I can say that a lot of people are fascinated by Ben Hogan's weak grip, and I certainly have been. And uh, the thing that's curious is Ben Hogan said in Power Golf that he had a strong left-hand grip. He said he could see three knuckles on his left hand in Power Golf. Here you see me twisting my arms to the right, and that helps me to stay, keep my right elbow under without the head flipping over. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. And uh, apparently Don went out like, David said she'd be on like three or four. Oh, would you go? You should so here my buddy Joey yeah, shows yeah, up and starts talking to me. So I'm going to show you the danger of if you're not on top of this. I'm going to not keep my right elbow under and watch what happens. <laughs> Smother snap hook. But that being said, the shot that I'm trying to hit with this stronger grip is I'm trying to think about hitting a fade. Usually winds up being a straight ball with a slight fade. Sometimes it has a tiny draw, but essentially it, it takes off on the line that, that I intend. When it does draw, it usually pushes out a little bit and still winds up in the spot that I was aimed. Yeah, I have to stay behind the ball. If I get in front of it or let my arms flip over, it is just death. But here we see Dustin Johnson's super strong left-hand grip. So I wanted to talk about this because Mr. Hogan is very famous for saying the wrist bone should be pointing at the target at impact, and he had that bowed left wrist through the ball. But Dustin Johnson is probably the premier driver of the golf ball of this era. Nobody's hit it longer and straighter probably in history. But you'll see because of his very strong grip, he has more of what I call a hammer release. Like if you held a hammer in your hand and uh, we'll watch him come down into impact. But you can see that this grip allows him to get that right elbow really under, which is going to allow him to keep the face really square. But you'll see that he does not have a bow, so to speak, towards the target. When we look at his left, at the picture on the left, we can see that there isn't a traditional bow. You seem to see a little bit of a bow in the picture on the right. But what's most important is he's got his right elbow under and he's hitting the ball from the inside out and that's how these guys are smashing these laser straight drives and uh, I've had a really good week playing golf I played some of the best golf I've played in my life this week so this is from yesterday we'll pick it back up I'm sitting here going through my routine this is my old grip
but I said, what if I have some spine tilt and re-grip the club from this angle? Basically, I'm getting under the club. Yep, that's what I'm trying to do, is stay behind and underneath. Old grip, new grip. Again, I'm trying to keep my right elbow under as I turn through the ball. You know, it's amazing how hitting these better drives lately have helped my scores. Because basically, if you hit a really solid drive on most holes with today's equipment, you're looking at like no more than an eight iron, usually a wedge or a flip wedge in the most par fours. And par fives are reachable in two. And then I find that when I'm focused on making more birdies, I've got a ton more tap-in pars, and there's a lot less stress on my game because I'm not constantly having to grind it out. But when I look at guys like Brooks Kepka and Dustin Johnson play the game, I mean, there is a, an obvious advantage to being able to hit the ball long. But if you don't hit the ball straight, you're totally totally in deep, deep trouble. I mean, that's the whole trick. And uh, I really think that uh, I'm reaching a new level of driving ability since I've been making these changes. You know, a lot of it is Mo Norman influenced, you know, that early spine tilt. And you can see my right elbow underneath my left. Yeah, that's one of those balls that's basically pretty straight. And here I am from the front. Now we can see that I have this setup. I think my setup looks great. I've been working hard on this. But I feel like when I'm set up right, that that club is going to fall right on the back of that ball. And I'm going to just cream it. But the most important thing is for me to keep my head behind the ball and let that right elbow get under my left as I go through impact. All right, so we'll go through this swing here. Nice wide takeaway. Good K with my legs. Now I'm gonna let my weight fall and transition to my left side. And this is, this is here is really key. This is where my right elbow goes under but I maintain that spine tilt. You can see it there, I'm behind the ball. Look at that right elbow. I really feel like I'm in a position to hammer the crap out of this ball. Now, obviously there's some artifacts from the way the digital image is captured. That, that shaft is not bending that way. It's just the way the picture is made from lines from the top to the bottom. So the club head is closer to the ball than when it was scanning the grip end of the club. But that's it right there. Yep, pretty simple. Stronger grip like most of the pros on the PGA Tour. You know, I fought the idea. Brandel Chambly is somebody who's talked about a stronger grip compared to Hogan and a lot of these guys that, that most pros that have been great have had a stronger grip. And there's, only, you know, Nicholas and Hogan had pretty weak grips. But for the majority of guys who've played at the highest level, they at least see a couple knuckles. And, uh, and it finally dawned on me, you know, if I do that, it helps me keep my right elbow under my left. So we'll go ahead and see what we got here on this next slow motion swing. Right here we go. We can see my setup that I've got my right elbow slightly under my left. My spine is tilted away from the target slightly. This is just giving me less things that I have to worry about in my golf swing. 
and I'm essentially aiming over that tree that's behind that middle post in the back of the driving range. So again, there's that little draw. I mean, I'm just hitting these balls really, really far, and I don't think I'm doing anything too crazy. Like, I don't feel like I'm swinging like a freaking gorilla, which is when I really get into bad trouble. Now, I want to talk about this real quick. I'm trying to take the club back square to the target line. I don't want it inside or outside. I want it square. That's another thing that Byron Nelson and Mo Norman talked about. Now, I am really de-weighting that left leg. That, that heel, like I've basically got all my weight into my right leg. That's what I'm doing. But as I make my weight transition, that, that left leg is going to be plenty busy. So as that heel goes down, yeah, I find this fascinating. So if you watch the work on my left leg, as the heel plants, the straightening of my left leg is going to keep driving my hip rotation. Let's go back and look at my right elbow now. Right elbow is far under my left coming into this ball. This is the classic Shangri-La position that I never understood for the longest time. But you can see my left hand is set up for more of a hammer fist kind of strike. And that right hand doesn't look like it's in a bad position. It's just, it's in a good position that it doesn't have to, there you start to see the roll. But I'm basically keeping my right palm up, like I'm doing a karate chop is, is the feeling that I have. Karate chop down right through the ball, and it just goes a mile. So I hope this helps you. I am, I am really interested in this strong grip. And uh, I think it's helping me right now. It's what most of the pros do. So I hope this tip helps you. And I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. Hey guys, I'm Christo Garcia from My Swing Evolution and today I am going to give you the top five secrets you need to know to have a great golf swing. To pick up your free instructional video, go to MySwingEvolution.com.